Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Catherine and I am one of the owners of 85th and Pine. My husband and I own this business since 2020 with laser cutting and we started with a Glowforge basic machine. But now I want to get into this new machine that we have right here. Glowforge just came out with it recently. It's the Glowforge Aura, it's a laser craft machine. And I want to show you the unboxing and setup of this machine. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for future content. And plus I'm going to be giving away free files to make on your own Glowforge Aura. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to unboxing this new machine. Now the Glowforge Aura is a laser craft machine. It is different from the other Glowforge machines, which are the basic, the plus and the pro models. Those are bigger and they are more for business. This can also be used for business as well, but it is really nice because you can use it wherever you want in your house. It's nice and compact and really lightweight. So it's really nice for more of a hobby, hobbyist machine uh, for any crafter out there. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. Before you take anything out, make sure to save all of the materials in case you have to use it again for some reason. Um, it's always best to just keep everything in the box after you remove the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this foam. And then this layer up here. And there's a little uh, place on here where they show you a link on where to set up. Okay, now we have the machine, so we're just gonna take it out of the box. Okay, and before I get um, the machine in frame here, right here there is a crumb tray under here, so you're gonna wanna keep that. So for now, just take this cardboard out and put it to the side. Okay, now here is the beautiful, sleek, and compact machine. Like I said before, it's pretty lightweight, so you can move it around really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And inside, you're gonna remove this foam. Here's the camera that you're gonna be using for printing. And inside here, we have some cardboard that we're gonna remove. This right here has the exhaust hose inside of it. And inside the exhaust hose is the power cord. So you can see that right there. So I'm gonna put that to the side right now. All right, and then we're gonna remove the cardboard that is in the back right here with the laser head. Okay, now that all the cardboard is removed, we're gonna go ahead and remove the foam on both sides right here. And finally, here is the printer head. So you're gonna be careful to remove the foam off of this. We're just gonna pick this right up. And also this is connected. As you can see, this strip right here is connected. So that's something to just be aware of and be careful while removing it. I'm just gonna put that to the side right now. Take this out. Okay, now that we have our laser head out and ready, we are going to place the head onto this magnetic dock right here. And it's super simple. It just clicks right into place. You don't have to screw anything in. And now this can move back and forth. And now we're gonna take this foam out, make sure this is out of the crumb tray area. And that is when we are going to get the crumb tray back into here. I'll show you how to place that in just a second. 
And just make sure once you place your laser head on top here that the laser arm moves properly back and forth with no hiccups. And let's go ahead and put in that crumb tray. Now here we have the crumb tray, so we're just gonna simply place it inside here. And there are two kind of little spaces, gaps, that you could see right here. Um, that's where the notches of the crumb tray are going to go on both sides right here. So I'll show you right here when we put it in. And it fits snugly right inside there. Now, last but not least, we are going to connect the air filter to our Glowforge Aura. So this comes with an exhaust hose and we're gonna just place one end of the exhaust hose onto the back of the machine right here. And you might have to pick it up just a little bit and wiggle it through. And this is really nice because it doesn't have like rings that you have to clamp on. This just fits really snugly with how uh, the material is. And just make sure it's fit, it fits perfectly right on there. Then we're gonna take this end and put it onto our personal air filter if you do have a personal air filter. Otherwise, you can look up ways on glowforge.com on how to properly vent your machine if you don't have the personal air filter. Before we go to the air filter, obviously this is pretty self-explanatory. This is the power cord for the Glowforge Aura. Just place it in the back of the machine right here and plug it into your outlet. Now, before we put the hose onto the air filter, we're gonna take this lid off and remove any of the plastic and the foam that's in here. So once you remove everything, just place this filter back inside here. And you can see where to place it because there's a green mark on here and line it up with this green mark here. And then put the lid back on. And now we can go ahead and put our hose onto the top of it. So just wiggle it on the best you can, make sure it's snug. And finally, we have our power cord to the filter itself. So you're just gonna plug this into the filter and this into your outlet. Okay, so a couple final details. Once you get your machine connected to your personal air filter, you're gonna go ahead and plug in the machine and this does not have an on off switch, which is very interesting. It just turns on once the plug goes into your outlet. So the light will come on over here, this blue light that is the start button. And then you're gonna flip up this lid and you'll see these lights are on as well. And it's super quiet actually, as of right now, it's really quiet. So you can leave it plugged in to your outlet and it'll turn off automatically after 30 minutes of not using it. Or if you want and you prefer to unplug it every time you're done using it, you can do that as well. Also, you're gonna want to go to setup.glowforge.com to finish setting up your machine and connecting it to your computer and Wi-Fi. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, be sure to like and subscribe and follow along for future content because I will be giving out some free files that you can make along with this machine as well. And if you're interested in buying this machine or one of the other models that Glowforge has to offer, please feel free to use my referral link that's in the description box below. And that will also give you up to $500 off on the other models as well. So please feel free to also reach out to me with any questions. I'm always happy to help and we'll see you in the next video.